Hi, it's Nell, and it's winter, which means there's actually some driftwood on our beaches here in Santa Barbara, which I've been collecting. So I was inspired to do a uh, driftwood and succulent air plant series for you. And I'm going to start out with how you attach the succulents to the driftwood to get them to grow. You can just attach the succulents to the driftwood, but if you want to give them something to grow into for a little while, I'm going to show you what you can do. And do you remember this wreath I made for you all that the jade just <laughs> fell off of that I need to re-glue back on? It is still looking good after, after five weeks. It's been on my front door, and that's because I have moss. I, I put the moss on so it actually gives the succulent something to root into. And I think I've missed it at, what, once or twice, but it still looks great. I'm going to start with something very simple. You can just take um, says Spanish moss or you can take either, either, either the sheet moss and you can just like glue it right onto your piece of driftwood. Just put plenty of glue on so it stays. Because those, uh, because those succulents are going to have, have a bit of weight to them. And that way, you can just go right in and attach right onto the moss. And here is the qua sheets. It's used to line baskets, um, hanging baskets and wire baskets. That way all the beautiful annuals and the plants can grow right in there. But what you can do is cut out a shape and then you can glue that onto there too. And then that will give you a basis in which to glue some succulents or some air plants onto. And then I always hold it for just a little bit, bit to make sure it stays in place. Let's do the Aeonium Sunshine. And then you can just glue your succulents right onto there. And if you don't have hot glue, you can always use um, E6000, which is a waterproof craft glue. You can wire this on. It's going to show, but um, yeah, and you could do that. You could take some craft wire, some green florist wire, and wire it on. Or you could use one of my favorite things, which is fishing line, and and just do a crisscross and attach it on that way. But hot glue is easy and it works really, really well. Now your driftwood or piece of wood, you don't really need to do this with driftwood if you have any beautiful wood, um, uh, like birch or anything like that. You can use that too. Um, I use palm debris to have the things that fall off. Um, here's a little piece of, uh, of the kelp here that's good for for crafting too, but if your wood has an indent to it, then you can just um, go ahead and plant it directly into there. This one doesn't have a deep one, but um, that's an option too, or you can drill in and actually make a hole that you could plant it. Or you could wrap it like this using either Spanish or sheet moss. I have some of this grape fine wire here just because it's easier to use in the fishing line for a video. That gives a nice pocket and there's some soil in here too and you can just attach it wherever you want it to go. It just gives the plant a nice little pocket to grow into and this will last for quite a while, a while obviously because it's still in soil. Whereas these might last depending on the light anywhere from four to uh, 12 months as is. I've had them go a lot longer. Um, how, you, how you would maintain something like this is just to take a spray bottle and you could spray it, spray it every, every, every couple of weeks. And it would be fine because the succulents are gonna start to root right into here. And I just wanna let you know that this moss, the Spanish moss comes in a lot of colors. It comes uh, dyed and preserved, so you can get it in purple, you can get it in lime green, you can get it in hot pink, whatever color you want to. And then this is the beautiful sheet moss, which is also preserved. And I found that it stays pretty green, so that's a nice option. And if you don't like the look of the qua, um, 
I tend to fill up my uh, I, I tend to fill it up so it doesn't show anyway but if you but if it's like bugging you to have that you can just like glue pieces of that over the quad and that gives you a nice look on there too. So those are three ways that you can attach the succulents to driftwood or wood. I've attached the succulent directly on the driftwood up here too and it holds it's just not as I said really going to give it anything to root into so that's definitely not going to be as long lasting. So I hope you have found this video to be helpful and stay tuned because I have a couple of videos coming up that you'll see me making succulent arrangements on driftwood. Thank you so much for watching. I thank you for all your comments and your likes. I really appreciate them. So let's get out in the garden and make the world a more beautiful place. Until next time, thank you. Bye!